Alrighty, I got a construction update for you guys today. Um, for the most part, most of you know what's going on with uh, Tundra Twister. Uh, so a lot has happened. Uh, they opened up the pathway, which has allowed us to get these really awesome shots of Tundra Twister. Um, so this was filmed yesterday, or two days ago by the time you guys are watching this. So a lot of the railings weren't in, so here you could see even the, the gates that open and close weren't in, but as of Victoria Day, the Monday, it all was in. Um, still a few gates left to install, as well as um, the railings. So they have a fancy wood paneling, similar to the Lazy Bear Lodge uh, railings, but thinner um, and a little uh, lighter in color. Uh, they have been starting to get installed, theming has been installed, and now some speaker systems will be going in as well. So I'm really hoping for that Snoopy's Racing Railway, um, you know how it has its own sound package, I'm really hoping Tundra has something as well. So we'll have to wait and see for that, because I was told by a little birdie that the new direction um, that Canada's Wonder will be heading in is printing um, theming pieces for all the areas of the park, including Frontier Canada, Camp Snoopy, um, Medfair, World Expo, all that jazz. So they have a industrial size 3D printer on site um, and they'll be printing, they're running it 24 seven essentially to get uh, theming pieces out there. Um, so that's the test seat. The theming over here, yes, um, awesome. It looks great, I, I actually love it. I don't get the Miracle Mining reference. So if anyone in the comments section um, can make me look like an idiot right now and explain the Miracle Mining reference if there is one, um, that would be honestly greatly appreciated because I honestly don't know anything about it. Um, and I don't get why they didn't use Yukon Mining Company as the continued theming over in this section. Um, here you can see the fans um, not covered uh, two days ago, and then as of today, the fans were covered, so uh, definitely some improvements going on. The water dummies were removed on Victoria Day um, near the end. I have a feeling that's just for fireworks. I know a lot of people are rumbling in the community that they're going to open it any day now. Um, I mean, I could be wrong, I just don't see it, uh, considering the third-party um, technician was still on site programming the ride and running it through its cycles with a laptop. Uh, maintenance, I have saw them all over the ride on Victoria Day, but outside of that, I have not seen um, any evidence that Wonderland is in full control of Tundra Twister. Um, and there is still queue line stuff to do as well. So this ride is not ready to open. Um, anytime soon, but I could definitely see this ride being open this coming weekend. Um, there's a chance. I mean, we're even running out of time for that too, though. So don't, don't get your hopes up too much. Again, guys, this is a brand new first of a kind attraction in the world. And there's a lot of programming that goes into that and testing. So, um, definitely like, yes, it is taking way longer than we originally would have anticipated, including myself. But at the end of the day, this is a first of a kind in the world, and there's a lot of checklists they have to go through uh, before they can open this. And Wonderland is one of the safest parks in the world, so you know they're going through those checklists once, twice, or three times even, if I was to make a guess. Um, so yeah, it's really cool now that you can walk up and get really cool shots, um, and it'll be really awesome to see this ride finish. As you can see, these thin, tall black tubes right there in front of the ride, that's going to be netting. So there will be netting that goes over the path. Um, but So get those really awesome shots of Tundra Twister cycling right now with before that netting goes in. Um, but yeah, I don't think I have too much else to share on Tundra Twister. I'm trying to think if there's any, you know, rumblings that I've been hearing on Tundra. But I don't think there there is. Um, the elevator is nearly complete as well. Did I miss anything else? Um, it does have larger guest seats, by the way, for them on the inner closest to the center of the ride, um, parts with the yellow seatbelts. Thought you would want to know that. Um, I feel like I'm missing something, but, um, I guess the bad news is the markings that were in Whitewater Canyon Forest are all completely gone. All of them, all of them. There's not one left. Um, so that's sad news, but, uh, it looks like Kingswood, with all its action, um, but I will say uh, distance markings appear and that is for surveying and creating a map um, and designing the attraction and all the uh, 
things that'll go in and around. What you're gonna to wanna to look for is now stakes. So those should appear sometime around October, November um, for a 2025 roller coaster. So we should see stakes sometime around October, November, December um, for a 2025 coaster. So keep an eye out for that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching uh, the construction update today. Have a good one, guys. Bye.